Hey everybody, it's Ramona, your independent Sensi consultant. Just let me do some jigging around. No crooked. Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, we're going to do some empties today because I'm working all weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I do have plans some more nights, so um, we're going to do empties today and make room for new um, because I've been doing a lot of reviewing this week, so my empties basket will be full next week. But anyway, non-wax related is I took out of my car, um, this was Coastal Sunset Car Bar. It was okay. I don't love it as much this much this year as I did last year. Last year in the summer when it came out, I really liked it and I bought a couple bars, but this year I like it, but I don't love it as much. So when I took out the Coastal Sunset, I put in the Weathered Leather Car Bar. This is so good, it smells just like leather. Like you walked into a leather shop, really nice. And uh, this is from Color Street. This was just released last week. I am a Color Street consultant, by the way. I'll leave my link down below. Color, just go colorstreet.com slash Ramona Talk. But anyway, so this is kind of like a glittery gray, and I'm really liking it. And so Color Street, if you don't know, see that's smooth. There's no chunky glitter there. Color Street are nail strips. I don't know if you can see them there. They're strips. They're genius genius i wish i had thought of it so it's dry nail polish you put the strip on you file off the edge you can actually just kind of score it off with your thumb and it's already dry no dry time no smudging nothing i love color street so much but anyway so this is out of the new collection moonlight night and that's what that is and i'm really digging it and then washer whiffs i didn't this isn't all used, but it is fluffy fleece. And I have a container. It's like a little washing. It's like a tin can, but it looks like a washing machine. I got it at Target at the dollar spot when I was there, when I was in Florida in March. Oh, I cannot wait to load up on more fluffy fleece. So I have the dryer discs. I have the washer whiffs. I have the laundry liquid. And I, I got that as a consultant kit prior to its release. And it will be released on August the 1st. I will be getting more. I think this is going to be my go-to laundry scent. Um, and unfortunately, it comes, Fluffy Fleece is in the entire laundry line except Scentsy Fresh. It doesn't make any sense. So I've asking, been, been asking people how to make Scentsy Fresh out of like the, um, maybe out of the Scentsy Soft, if you're gonna just dilute it down with water and make Scentsy Fresh, I don't know. Because if I can figure out how to make Scentsy Fresh, it will be on my pillows every single night. It was just so warm and yummy and comfortable. But anyway, <laughs> just a little overreacting for some scent. But anyhow, all right, let's talk bags. So I almost finished uh, Yankee Candle Sun Drenched Apricot Rose. I have uh, five chunks left, so I can easily get that uh, finish that in the next, um, you know, week or so, depending on what else I'm melting or reviewing. But so this is old. Like, as I said, I remember getting a candle for this it, for Candy Kim when she came to visit me in Houston in 2018. And so I had it before that. So it's at least four years old and there's not much scent left. It's, there's not much apricot left. It was quite heavy on the rose. So that's kind of disappointing. So I will finish that. Uh, from Scentsy, I melted some appealing apple, and uh, this was a brick that I chopped. Again, I'm not sure why I chopped it. I don't know if I did it for the move or what. I'm not sure. Um, it's okay. It's, again, Johnny Appleseed is my go-to, so that can go back in the bin. And then from Goose Creek, I melted citrus lavender, and this was a large jar candle that I bought before I moved up here to Canada, if you don't know where I'm at, I'm here is Canada. And um, I, uh, Goose Creek had a really great, <coughs> pardon me, sale on their large jars. They were either $9.99 or maybe even $7.99. And that is a really great price for a large jar candle because I'm not sure how many ounces it has in it, but it's a lot. And so this made this giant, so these are little mini uh, muffin, um, tarts from a little mini muffin pan and if I'm, I think it filled at least one pan maybe one and a half and find one that's not kind of squished up here this one's not too bad so these and those make a nice melt and this is 
Oh, it's really, really good. Really lavender, really citrus. The citrus really complements the lavender really well. I love that one. But again, I need to get start going through these bags. So anyway, so yeah. So if you get candles, like large jar candles that are really great to price, I like to melt them and make melts. So it's not, when you have a candle, it's just in one room. But if you have melts, it can be in all rooms or wherever you want it to be. So I like to melt candles and make my own tartar sauce over there. Okay. And then everything else is Scentsy. I'm trying, because I, I got a lot of Scentsy, you guys. Like, I'm just, I need to, you know, make room and de stash and whatever I'm going to do. I'm not sure. But anyway, so one day last week, I melted I, uh, lemon sorbet and Atlantic air together. And I had company this night, and I didn't know what this person liked. You know, we're not that into it yet. So I thought I'd play it safe, and I melted this, and he liked it. So that's good. Or he didn't say he didn't, so we'll go with that. Um, white, amber, and silk. This, I think, was last week's um, Scentsy Saturday. Warm, amber, bergamot, and comforting cotton. And I really enjoyed this one a lot. This was very cozy. It was very warm, snuggly, kind of like warm flannel sheets. Um, debating on whether I'm going to put this in my club or not. I'm still debating about it. But anyway, it was very, very good. Uh, Frost the Vanilla did go in my club immediately. Sweet Vanilla Bean, Birch Bark, and Frosty Air. Oh, this was so good. Definitely Vanilla and the Birch Bark with a little bit of Frosty Air. Very good. I melted a Pink Sugar Berry Mint. And you can see this is kind of old, so I'm definitely trying to get through the, my old stuff. I should start dating my... Clams, I can smell it though, just an empty clam. Plump raspberry sugar and a hint of peppermint. So to me, I, this, no matter what year this comes out or, have, you know, what clam I'm, I melt it from, I get the same, the pink sugar berry, but I do not get a lot of mint. It might be something nice to mix with a minty scent, but I don't get mint. Uh, this is in, this was not in my club. I wish it was in my club, Vanilla Oud which is sweet vanilla, earthy oud, and leather. This is so good. I really, really, really regret not putting this in my club. If this ever comes back, this will go in my club immediately. Also, just a very nice, warm, woodsy vanilla. To me, like an evening scent or a rainy day scent. You know, that kind of coziness, that kind of vibe. Not a bakery vanilla. Uh, speaking of bakery, this has been around a while. See how yellow it is, and this is all nasty. Um, and it is a birthday cake, sparkling sugar. Is it birthday cake? Birthday, happy birthday. Sorry, um, sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and warm vanilla extract. This is so old; it really kind of smelled like burnt vanilla. That's really all I got, and it, that's that's on me because I didn't, you know, I waited too long to melt it. Um, Enchanted Miss. This was the Bring Back My Bar collection from June. Loved it. Juicy Apples, Rose Petals, and Jasmine. I liked this one. I really debated hard whether I was going to put it in my club or not. And I decided not to because my club was growing. I put five or six of the Bring Back My Bar scents in there. And so I had to really pick and choose. And uh, you just saw or maybe you didn't see. But anyway, I kind of edited my club. But I decided it was between this one and Inner Peace, what I was going to put in the club and Inner Peace one. So Inner Peace is in the club, Enchanted Mist, you're out. And I also melted coconuts for coconuts. I just was kind of wanting something coconutty. And this was nice, Ocean Breeze, Wild Coconut and Tiari Flower. So it's, it is coconut, but the Tiari Flower is also in here quite strong. I would say probably 50-50 floral to coconut. Um, and the tiari flower was a little bit strong for me, but the coconut really kind of helped tone it down. But if you like coconut, if you like to blend coconut with florals, cocoa nuts for coconuts is really good. And you still could get it before. Yeah, it is. Um, summer catalog before the end of the month. And then... Let's see, we have glacial, glacier, I always mess this up, glacier water, uh, the scent of the month for August. It will be 10% off for the month of August, and it's tomorrow's Scentsy Saturday. And then I also melted falling apples and sips of cider uh, to review for next Saturday's Scentsy Saturday.
So that's all we have for today. Um, remember, as I just said, the end of the month is coming. And so stock up on your discontinued scents. Go to the last chance tab on my website. There's wax, there's warmers, there's pet products, there's car bars, there's laundry, there's cleaning, everything. Uh, not everything in the catalog, but everything in that last chance. Um, oh, here, I have the list right here. Discontinued items. Um, yeah, so warmers, wall fan diffusers, mini warmers, full-size warmers, Scentsy bar, Scent Circles room spray, Scentsy oils, fragrance flowers, Scent packs, Scent pods, Scentsy car bars, car clips, travel tins, body care, cleaning products, and pets, and Scentsy buddies, Scentsy body clips, and Scentsy friends. So now, the travel tins have never, for me and my customers, have never been great sellers, but... In the new catalog, I'm really excited. I can't wait to try these. Um, it's a different product for travel, which is really great because I always, I usually, I don't, sometimes I forget, but I try to take a Scentsy product with me to scent up my hotel room or wherever I'm at at the time. And, <coughs> pardon me, the new travel product is, I just want to show you because I think it's really cool. Here it is. It's, this is going to be the new travel product right here. It's going to be called the Travel Twist. And if you're as old as me, you remember a similar product than this. It's like a round disc and you twist it just like that. And if you twist it a lot, a lot of scent comes out, a little bit, a little comes out. And I think they were called like, um, were they called twist stops? What were they called? I know there's somebody out there who knows. I know, so let us all know. But anyway, so I'm really, really excited to pick up a couple of those and see how they perform. So, and I will probably just like keep them, keep one or two in my suitcase or my travel bag and just leave it there for forever. I don't know. Okay, I think that's it for now, you guys. Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Stay safe, stay cool. It is really hot in the Annapolis Valley here. Um, and drink lots of water, which I am not doing, but you know, I'm gonna try to do better. Okay, that's it for now. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.